Good evening. Welcome to the Thanksgiving edition of So in the Bourbon. Yay. Thanks for watching. Thanks. And Charlie, speaking yeah. of Thanksgiving, yeah. tonight what we're doing is I have a little scenario for you. Okay. I love scenarios. So you've been invited over to the family for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. You don't have to cook anything. Oh. All you have to do is show up. Hey. And bring a bottle of bourbon. Oh, yeah. But guess what? 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 You forgot. Oh, no. I didn't To sound. buy the bourbon. Uh-oh. So now... You're on your way to Thanksgiving. Okay. Nothing's open oh except gosh. for Target and Walgreens or a little corner store. So the question is, can you find a good, decent, shelfer, cheap bottle of bourbon to take to Thanksgiving dinner? Let's find out. Okay, so... We explained the scenario, right? You're right. headed to the, to the family Thanksgiving dinner. You got to get a bottle of bourbon. Yeah. Nothing's open. So, Charlie, what we did, tell them what we did. Well, we, we were talking about our scenario, and, and I'm sure this happens to a lot of people. Is maybe you don't forget the bottle, or you're, maybe you're traveling, and you're visiting Aunt Edna's house in the middle of rural Idaho, and the only thing that's there is a very small liquor store or a CVS or something like that. So we thought... Can a shelf or bourbon save Thanksgiving? And can you find something readily available on the shelf that not only makes you happy, but you're not gonna feel bad about your weird cousins drinking either? So what we did was challenged each other to do just that. So we both went out today. I went to Walgreens, Charlie, you went to Target. Target. And neither we don't know what the other bought, so we, we could not. quite possibly have purchased the same thing. We could have. And so we're gonna we're gonna see what what we got, we're gonna taste what we bought, and we're gonna see who spent the most, who spent the least, and who knows, maybe we'll even... Mix them together. No, we're not gonna, we're do, not that. gonna do that. We might. Let's but, pull them out. All right. Let's not Ready? make the people wait. So here, here, let's do this, let's do this. Okay. So here's mine. Uh, is your receipt readily available? Yes. Okay, I, let's, let's do our receipt okay. before our reveal and, and say how much we spent. So how much was your bottle? My bottle was $24. My bottle was also $24.99. <laughs> Mine is $24.99 plus tax. Mine was exactly, yes, $24.99. $24.99. Shall, wow. shall we do? Um, I'm shall worried we do the, that maybe we bought the same Shall bottle. we do the reveal? One, Let's do it. two, three. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Okay. Now, I have to say, if we called each other and said, hey, we should buy what is generally considered two of the best Shelfer bourbons, these are what we would have picked. Those would right? definitely be towards the top of the list. Towards, yeah, if not the very top, right. one, two, interchangeable. And it makes me happy because on, it's a Sunday, today's a Sunday, at one o'clock, during the holiday time, you can walk in a store and get a pretty darn good bottle of bourbon. Yeah, so it's funny because the Wild Turkey 101 is the bottle that I was hoping to find. And there was an empty, empty spot, spot there, wasn't on the shelf. They had the big handle of yeah. it, but that was $46.99, right. which was more than I wanted to spend right. for this. Yep. Um, so you got lucky and got that. I, and, I and did. I'm glad that and the shelf was empty for me, or we'd be sitting here. We, with the same we would be gobbling. And I will say this, and you you brought it up. I was very surprised to find this sitting at Target, and that's a crazy thing to say. But bourbon's getting weird, and has been weird for a long time. And Wild Turkey 101 is not super readily available all the time. Like there are many times where people go into stores and they don't have any, especially in grocery and convenience and um, pharmacy. So while you're opening the Elijah Craig, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. what, what other options did you consider? Um, there was Evan Williams. Mm -hmm. There was, I, I did, that, I was actually- That was on my list as well. I was actually kind of surprised. I was going back and forth there were two High West. There was the High West bourbon, which I haven't had in a very long time. And then there was a double rye, which I don't think I've had maybe ever. And I thought, man, I, I, I'm really tempted by the double rye, but I wanted to keep it a bourbon. Um, there wasn't much else there. There was a long branch, 
from wild turkey, but mm -hmm. that's a little more expensive. And I like 101 better than Long Branch. Yeah, and, and what I took into consideration also was, yes, I want something that I'm going to enjoy, but I also want something that others are going right. to enjoy who may or may not be serious bourbon drinkers. Yep. So you want something that's, you know, good enough to sip on neat mm -hmm. or on a rock or maybe mixed in with a... A drink. A if it's going software, to Thanksgiving, you know? somebody's pouring it in Coker. And, and you don't it. want to spend a whole lot of money on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, that's, so that's how I think both of us ended up where yep. we are. Um, shall we pour? I, I, sh I think we should. Why don't you pour your two and I'll pour my two and, and we'll drink to Thanksgiving. So some of the others that I considered... You have a Williams Black Label, which you've mm -hmm. already mentioned, yep. which was $13.99. It's hard right. to beat for $13.99. Um, Jim Beam Double Oaked. I had that in my hands Ooh. for $21.99. They also had Ball a turkey. Jim Beam Black Extra Age, mm -hmm. which I was I was highly considering both. Yeah. But I just I couldn't couldn't bring myself to do it. I had, yeah, to, that's... had to grab the Elijah Craig. I actually am kind of glad we did this challenge because I have a bunch of, I have a lot of bourbon open, but every once in a while, if you've watched any of our shorts, you know that one of my favorite cocktails is a Kentucky Mule, ginger beer and bourbon. And I'm kind of out of just random bourbon, like shelf for bourbon at the moment, which is weird. So I'm actually kind of glad I got this one on one because I like a little proofier thing in yeah. my ginger beer, so. And that's, that, that also kind of played into what you know, you a lot drink? of the others were yeah. 80 proof or, you know, 86 proof. Um, I had to go with something that was at least 90. At least 90. So. All right. What, what are we drinking first? Why don't, why don't we try your Elijah Craig okay. small batch, which have we done Elijah Craig small batch? We have batch? not. So we just did the uh, barrel spray. Yeah. So Elijah Craig, it's same mash bill, 78 corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley, uh, non-age stated. However, this bottle used to be 12 year age stated up until 2016, until they changed it. Yeah, poop happens. Uh, so we don't know what the age is. It's got a phenomenal fruit. nose. I mean. It does, just your classic bourbon nose. Um, caramel. Really nice copper color. I get some nice like barrel character out of that, like some char, which is really surprising on 94. It is a little. Yeah, it's a level three char yeah. barrel that they use. So. There's a little. The ethanol is a little high. It is a fresh mm -hmm. pour, neck pour. Cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. I love drinking regular old. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's not super complex, but it's, it's sweet and it's spicy. And it's got some nice vanilla flavors and some nice sweet fruit flavors. I get a lot of, of kind of that burnt oak, that mm -hmm. kind of char on that, which I'm really surprised. It's been a long time since I've had just a plain old small batch. Yeah. I think the last one I had was a single barrel selection, but it's been a while since I've had this. It's very good. It does drink a little proofier than 94. That's exactly what I was just thinking. So it, Full disclosure, first drink of the day, but it is a little, it, at least right now, it's drinking a little hotter than 94, not complaining. Um, yeah, to me, that's a good thing. In yeah, my eyes for I'm 94 not complaining at all. Mm -hmm. Really great flavor, like you said. It, there's something in that bottle that will appeal to everyone, no matter what you're using that bottle for, and that is the purpose, because what you should be using your bourbon for is drinking, consuming, sharing with your friends and family, even the weird ones that you don't like. Maybe especially then. So. I will. All right. Are we, are we going to spend any more time on this? I mean, unless there's anything else you want to say about the great people so. at the Elijah it's got Craig. A nice finish. Once again, nothing yeah. super complex, but just a, just a, a great A great drinking bourbon. A great drinking $24 bourbon. $24 bottle of bourbon. $25 dollar bourbon. $25 bourbon. One-on-one? One-on-one. Wanna, wanna, gonna play that game tonight. We're gonna edit all of that <laughs> out. No, we're not. So, and how can you go wrong with a 
wild turkey bottle for Thanksgiving. You I can't. Mean, come on. Gobble, gobble. Now, the crazy thing is, I get no ethanol on the nose on this one. Nope. Zero. And it does not have as much kind of character on the nose as the Elijah Craig did. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, compared to Elijah Craig, it's there's, pretty I, muted. I, there's nothing. Which hmm. I will say, I'm a little, little stuffed up today, so. I mean, I, I get... I get some flavor and some character, but it's it's really in there. Like it's somewhat muted compared to the I have to Craig. really get down and yeah. I'm getting a little bit of a grassy note. Which I will also say I'll cut the grass today. <laughs> so that could be That remiss. could be. 101. Cheers. <sighs> it's so good. It Two is. different like and this is like, you could take both of these to Thanksgiving for under 50 bucks and do a side by side and blow people's minds. Yeah. Like they, they are bourbon, they are the same in name only in that they're bourbon. They, they are so different. The wild turkey is, even at 101, it's more delicate. It is. It's, it's got a little bit of spiciness to it, but it's, it's so, God, it's just so good. It's just really well rounded, not near as sweet. And Not near as sweet, Craig. yeah, but a higher rye mash bill. Higher so. rye mash bill, um, and like you said, it. <laughs> if we were blinding these, and you told me to pick the 101 proof bourbon and the 94, I'd, I'd probably get them absolutely. backwards. <clears throat> yeah, and they're both. The great thing about Shelfer bourbon is you don't, and we talk about this all the time. You don't feel any sort of way about consuming it. There's no twinge of regret because you know you can just go to the, the, you can go back to the Walgreens and get another bottle. So if Aunt Martha's pouring half your bottle in for bourbon balls, fine, whatever. Or if Uncle Carl is mixing it with a two liter of Diet Sprite, that's fine because we can always get right. more. So, it, and these are great bourbons for whatever you need them to be. Very, two very classic bourbon profiles, yet very different. Yeah. Totally different and totally different. And it shines what is great about bourbon in these two bottles is that they are so different. They are very affordable. They are pretty well, I mean, well available. Well available. Yeah. Except for the one on one sometimes. And they're designed to be enjoyed. So that's enjoy kind of the them. point of our episode. Yeah, enjoy it. Have a great time this Thanksgiving. Open a bottle, buy a bottle, share it with people, talk about bourbon. And in the comments, let us know what shelfer bourbon you're taking. To yeah, Thanksgiving. what would be your pick? And I'm sure by the time some people watch this, maybe they've just gone through this this mm -hmm. exact scenario. Let us know what you ended up with. Absolutely, we'd love to hear from you. Or let us know what the crazy uncle or the brother-in-law that you don't like ended up bringing that you didn't like, that you oh, hated. Yeah. That was a terrible yes. selection. Spill the tea, spill okay. the tea. Charlie, why don't you tell them what we would love for them to do? We would love for you to subscribe so you get more hard-hitting content like this in your inbox. Hard-hitting. Hard-hitting. Hard and you got to follow us on all our socials. Glenn, tell them about our socials. Sona Bourbon on Facebook and Instagram. Whiskey Realtor on TikTok. And Charlie, first of all, happy Thanksgiving. Happy stinking Thanksgiving. From Sona Bourbon to you. And keep those wallets loose. And then bung holes tight. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. It's like that movie. Um, anyways. <laughs> All right, you ready? Are you just- I've seen that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, you're gonna re-explain it again? No, I'm gonna explain what we did. Us as humans? All right. I didn't do any re- Should we put our bags up here? This is vodka. Expect nothing but perfection from us. Three, two, one, go.